Hey everyone, uh, it is a Tuesday, which is to say that it's time for a real-time actionable trade idea. As always, keep in mind that these ideas are generated with a top-down process, a repeatable process, and I'm about to show you how I came up with this idea. Also keep in mind it's never a recommendation, it's simply uh, what we are looking at and what we are doing. Um, with that in mind, one of the main parts of the market that we continue to like here in the equity side is the energy sector. And so the trade idea I'm about to show here is in the energy sector. I sent a real-time trade alert to our um, clubhouse and coaching clients yesterday on a different stock within this, this space. Um, so I want to show you another one that also goes along the same lines and align, so, so, same sort of uh, line of thought. We are uh, looking at this on a sector and sector by sector basis and group by group basis. And right now we are more and more cautious. But one of the parts of the market that we still like at least for the next few weeks or so right now uh, is energy stocks. And, and, and that's partially because we think oil has a little bit more upside. So without any further ado, let's just have a look at um, the idea here today. So first of all, again, keep in mind that just because we like a sector doesn't mean we have, to, we have to like it forever. For now, this is just a trade. So we're looking at here is Halliburton. And yes, not all energy stocks are created equal, of course. But we do think that with Halliburton, about two weeks out here or so from earnings, um, does have the potential for a bit of a balanced trade. This is not a major, major, we're not calling for a big, big rally here. But you can see the stock here has basically broken below this consortium of, of moving averages, the 50 the 100 and the 200 day in, in uh, blue, sorry, yellow, blue, and red respectively, we've broken below there. Now we've now come and kind of marginally broken below this area of support. And you can see the market's very oversold by the MACD momentum moving uh, uh, oscillator. Now that's just a bit of a backdrop and that's, that alone usually isn't enough to make a trade repeatable and, and actually work. But I do think um, we now have, an, have, have a, a setup where as long as the market doesn't fall apart in the next few days, uh, we could see this stock actually start bouncing back a little bit more, e even though it already rallied 2% just uh, on Monday, we could see it potentially get back into the high 40s. Now again, it's not a major trade, but getting it back sort of, sort of as, as a mean reversion trade, if you will, back to those mid 40s uh, into that earnings report. And then of course, this is not something you wanna hold through the earnings report, but I do think up in the, sorry, the high 40s, I should say, which is a few percent higher from here. So let's do the math real quick. So if we were to get to say the 47, 50, 48 area, that's four and a half to 5% of upside from here. Um, also, our proprietary beta reversal indicator did actually give us a buy signal yesterday on the back of a strong bullish reversal of the past couple of days, which takes into consideration momentum, a trend and certain candlestick formations. So, um, there's, an, there's a, a trade here that, that we like. Again, it's a short-term trade. It's nothing, nothing, uh, uh, nothing that you want to keep forever. But um, I hope uh, this is helpful. Again, it's, 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 we look at these ideas through the lens of a big picture approach. First, we look at the sectors and groups that we like for various reasons. And then we start digging a little bit lower, a little bit deeper, and look at what these sector groups are made up of, what kind of stocks. And I do think Hal Burton here sets up for a bit of a trade. And the great thing about it, by the way, is you have a very defined stop loss, any bearish reversal at this point, certainly something that would erase uh, the gains here from uh, the, the 9th of July rally, anything that would kind of do something like this would automatically be, uh, be a stop loss. And that's really always, always the most important thing is to understand that it's all about gauging risk as opposed to chasing reward. I hope this makes sense, folks. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.